Well, just before we go, Peter Snow, we can't resist the last look at what the new House of Commons that all that led to is going to be. There Let's it see what is, it with like. Labour in command of the House of Commons as they've never been before, with 419 Labour MPs, an overall majority for Labour of 179, the biggest majority we've heard by any party since before the war. And Hugh Edwards, briefly, at number 10 Downing Street. Hugh? 30 seconds. David, we have half the Cabinet. John Prescott, Deputy Prime Minister, Environment, Transport and Regions, his brief. Gordon Brown will be the Chancellor. Robin Cook will be Foreign Secretary. Derry Irvin will be Lord Chancellor. Um, Jack Straw will be Home Secretary. David Blunkett will be Education Secretary. Margaret Beckett will be President of the Board of Trade. All the other appointments to follow tomorrow. The appointees will arrive this evening. Well, quite a good list there, much more than we expected of the Cabinet. Jeremy, two words from you before we go? Uh, uh, three words. It was fun. Good. <laughs> and it certainly was. It certainly was fun. It was also perhaps one of the most dramatic nights for many people, the most dra dramatic night in British politics they've seen. It was like 1945 when Labour swept in, like 1979 when the Tories swept in, and this time by a vast majority, Labour has swept into power, completely changing the face of British politics, and for many millions of people, the first time they won't have lived under a Conservative government. Well, we'll be reporting what the new government does, of course. In the meantime, from all of us here, everybody in the election studio, good afternoon. <laughs>